is nothing phone to everything, a smartphone that is unlike any other phone on the market today. Is it set to challenge the status quo and steal sales from Google, OnePlus, and Samsung? Yes, it can. But besides the pros, there are some cons we have seen in this phone, and surely we will talk about that too. But first of all, let's check its amazing features and improvements made as compared to nothing phone one. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe for leaks, rumors, reviews, and other tech-related content. So let's explore Nothing Phone 2. Design. The overall design of Nothing 2 is similar to Phone 1 with some little changes. There aren't many changes and some people might call it a copy-paste design, but this was done on purpose. It's just the second phone from the newly developed brand, and I guess it's okay to continue its iconic design. If we talk about iPhone, Apple didn't change its design from iPhone 1 to a triple-lens camera design in just a single year. It took them years. Just like that, nothing will also revolute with time. The flat sides have aluminum chassis. There's glass on the back and Gorilla Glass over the screen on the front. The build quality is excellent and it seems extremely strong. The water and dust resistant rating is only IP54. This falls behind the Samsung Galaxy A54, Google Pixel 7, and OnePlus 11. The back glass is smooth and slippery and if dropped on the floor, it will definitely cause damage. To prevent this, we can also use a back cover and surely it should be transparent to reveal its iconic look with Glyph lights. Because this time, Glyph lights got some major upgrades that every user, even the iPhone users, would love it. But here is one thing we all just noticed. Nothing phone is similar to iPhone in dimensions, size, or front surface. Hard to differentiate if held together. Glyph lights. Under the transparent pillowed glass is Nothing's Glyph lighting array, the feature making this phone unique. But this time, the glyph lights are divided into 11 segments, and the center pool is divided into 6 segments instead of a single ring as in phone one. Each light zone has an exciting feature this time. Each zone can indicate a specific contact notification. When there is a message, let's say any WhatsApp message from a chat, the light will glow. Moreover, the excellent feature the backlight can be used as a timer. Either you booked a ride from Uber or you ordered a pizza through Zomato, the backlight will be used as a timer notifying you about the delivery time. Not only this, you can check your charging level when connected to the charger. And the exciting thing is that it is customizable. Yes, you can set up your own preferable pattern for notifications. The lights also match the sound effect and blink with that. Isn't this just amazing? This feature makes nothing phone completely different from other Android flagships present in the market right now. Camera. Not many improvements as compared to phone one, but still the camera is good enough to take beautiful photos. It includes two 50-megapixel cameras, a 50MP Sony IMX800 and Miami with optical and electronic stabilization, and a 50MP Samsung Jan 1 with 114-degree wide-angle and EIS. There's also a new 32MP selfie camera, but nothing is focused on upgrading the software that powers them, and it shows. The photos are good, but not as good as the Samsung's 23 Ultra or Google Pixel 7. For sure, those brands have been in the market for a long and they have improved their cameras over a period of time. Nothing Phone will definitely improve its camera quality to be comparable with other flagships with time, but still, we can say it's pretty good. Where there are pros, there are cons also. The cons here are some bugs seen during photography. Sometimes when capturing the moving object, it appears to be giving a ghost-like effect, like we can see in these images. Might be the processor is slow in this case. Moreover, the photos lose their quality in low light. Very few details, too much noise in images, and in complete darkness, the case gets more worsened. Display. The 6.7-inch OLED panel features a resolution of 2412 to 1080 pixels and a dynamic refresh rate of 1 Hz to 120 Hz. It's larger than the phone one's 6.55-inch display and the bezels are much smaller this year. With 1600 nits of brightness, even in direct sunshine, it has no trouble with brightness and the ambient light sensor does a fantastic job of keeping the screen viewable at all times. Screen colors are quite good, but if we compare it with iPhone 14 Pro, iPhone's results look more natural with excellent tone. So making it similar to iPhone in shape will doesn't work. It needs to upgrade its display quality too. Software. With Nothing OS 2, Nothing changed the look of each individual app icon on the phone to a Nothing style monochrome one. They have the same icon design, but no color or size, and they could be packed inside circular or square folders. Nothing's widgets use the same pixelated black and white color scheme as the rest of the app and display the clock, weather, a selection of quick settings, shortcuts, and controls for Nothing earbuds. Even the majority of the default wallpapers in Nothing are abstract monochromatic graphics. 
however, is also excruciatingly dull to look at. It takes some time to become familiar with the appearance of app icons, which makes navigation slow at first. But don't worry. If you don't like this monochromatic version of apps, you can switch to normal Android mode. Hardware. The phone will have Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. The Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 is Qualcomm's crowning achievement, a masterful balancing act of performance and efficiency. It makes the phone too slick and smooth, whether playing games or just utilizing apps, and it doesn't get too hot. Yes, a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is also excellent, but I doubt you'll notice much of a difference between the two on a daily basis. Battery. The battery inside the Nothing Phone 2 is a modest 4,700 mAh, which is slightly less than what we expect to see in large smartphones today. The Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 has proven to be extremely efficient, offering a reliable combination of range-topping power and a genuine ability to intelligently manage resources to conserve battery life. A screen time of 3 to 4 hours, with a combination of casual games, applications, calls, and the camera, accounts for approximately 40% to 50% of the battery's consumption time. The Nothing Phone 2 supports wired 45-watt PPS charging, which the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and Galaxy S23 Plus also A USB Type-C to Type-C cable is provided in the box, and the connectors, like the SIM removal tool, are transparent in true Nothing fashion. They're just two of the interesting one-of-a-kind features of the Nothing Phone 2. Nothing predicts a full charging time of 55 minutes. The phone also supports 15-watt to wireless charging, which will take about 130 minutes to completely charge. The cheapest Nothing Phone 2 model is the 8GB RAM and 128GB storage model, which costs $599. This is the same as starting price of the Google Pixel 7 and $100 less than the cheapest OnePlus 11, making these two outstanding smartphones the Nothing Phone 2's main rivals. There are two higher-end models. The $699 with 12GB and 256GB Nothing Phone 2 and the $799 with 12GB and 512GB variant. If you're still wondering whether the Nothing Phone 2 is worth purchasing, let me be clear, it most surely is. The sleek design will set you apart from the crowd and you'll be rewarded with strong performance, a superb daytime camera, a stunningly colorful screen and nearly two days of battery life. You'll learn the joys of glyph lights and use one of the most clean and customizable operating systems available. Let's summarize the pros and cons of the Nothing Phone 2. Like the video, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and also press the bell icon for regular updates. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.